So you're on your phone, you're scrolling through, you're doing your research on trade schools, and um, you're thinking about becoming an HVAC technician. Here are 10 things that I think everybody should know before becoming an HVAC technician. These things are based off my personal experience and I just wanted to share with future technicians out there. So here goes nothing. Number one. So when it comes to the HVAC field, there's really two major sides of it. Either you're gonna be an installer or you're gonna be a technician. I've had the pleasure of doing both. And in my experience, Installing is harder on your body, but being a technician is harder on your mind. Me, myself, I'm an HVAC technician first, but every now and then, based upon the help that's needed, I'll be on the installer side, so I have the pleasure of doing a little bit of both. Number two, depending on your location, which is most locations in the United States, Wintertime is gonna be a very slow season for you. Most technicians or anyone in the HVAC field will tell you that you must budget your money. You have to be prepared to budget your money. What I mean is during the more busier seasons, you're gonna make a lot more money, but you have to learn to save that money in order to survive the slower seasons. Number three, during the busier seasons, you just might have to work six days a week. Maybe even seven if you're working for a company that's really slammed with work and doesn't have enough workers. So be prepared to work. But more work also means more money for you. So if you're in it for the money, then, you know, just go out and get it. Number four, you may have to sell. Depending on your company, you may have to sell things. You know, a lot of companies, they'll tell you that you don't have to sell, you have to educate or things like that. But, you know, depending on your company and how much money you want to make, you may have to sell things in order to reach your goal as far as how much money you want to make. So me, before working as an HVAC technician, I was already in retail. So whether or not I had to sell, I was ready and prepared. But I know some of you think that you're just going to be fixing things, but you know, that's half of the battle. If you want to make the most out of this career, you may have to sell things but it's not really selling things, you know, you're adding on things to improve the quality of people's homes, you know? So if you wanna call that selling, I guess you can call it selling, but you may have to do that, but you know, you will be rewarded with a higher pay, you know? You can give yourself a bonus basically, you know what I mean? Number five is you will still have to deal with customers. So, you know, a lot of people, they may think that, you know, I'm just gonna be fixing things. I don't have to talk to customers as much. Half of that is kind of true, but for the most part, you have to let customers know what's going on. You have to deal with customers who may have attitudes or may be upset it's because late at night and they're really cold and their system's not working or it's the middle of the summer in the daytime and their Hot. AC isn't working. So, you know, you have to be able to control those type of situations and deal with different kind of people. So be prepared for that. Number six is you will have to start at the bottom and work your way up. You know, a lot of people may have this idea in their head, you know, they're gonna go to school and fresh out of school, you know, they're gonna be the top technician. But the truth is, you know, you have to take your time, learn what you need to learn, buy the proper tool, and just be patient with it, you know, and in due time, you'll become the technician that you know you can be. You know, but you just have to be patient. It's kind of like the Star Wars thing, you know? You start off as a Padawan and one day you'll be a Jedi Knight, you know, maybe even a Jedi Master, depending on yourself, how far you want to take it, you know what I mean? But you just got to be patient, take your time with it. There's no rush. So number seven piggybacks off of number six and it's pretty simple. You will not make 100K your first year or maybe not even your second year, but it is possible, but you know, you just have to be realistic and you can't have really high expectations. You know, you have to work on, um, you know, adding value to yourself and that value just comes with the experience, you know, those years of experience, then, you know, you're more valuable, you're more skilled and, you, you know, can qualify for higher pay rates, you know what I mean? And you're more valuable to a company if 
you know, you have years of experience. So, you know, just take your time, get that experience. And then maybe one day you can be a very high paid technician, you know, and also with being a high paid technician, in some cases, those guys make so much because they sell so much, you know, so also keep that in mind, you know, if you want to really maximize your pay, you know, you may have to fix things and also be able to sell things such as indoor air quality, etc. So just be prepared for that. Your company will train you on, you know, techniques and things like that. So don't be too discouraged. You will learn how to make that money. Number nine is you will have to invest in tools to make your job easier. When I first graduated trade school, I had some really basic tools, you know what I mean? I didn't have a drill, well, an impact driver. I didn't have an impact driver. That was one of the first things that I had to go and get. And, um, you know, just be prepared to invest the money that you're making into tools that are gonna make your job easy. So every month I'm trying to add at least one new tool that's gonna make my job easier or make me more efficient, you know, so that it's less stress on me. Number 10, finally, is just that um, you can do it. You know, a lot of people may be questioning themselves or trying to decide if they wanna follow through with this or not and you know, I just want to let everybody know that it is possible. You can do it. My personal experience from school, I got the best out of it because, you know, I sat in the front. I asked questions every day. If I didn't know anything, I stayed after and talked to my instructor. You know what I mean? You get the most out of, you know, you get what you put in. You know what I mean? And if you're really motivated and if you're determined on becoming a technician, then you can do it. You know what I mean? There's a bunch of guys who were in my same class. They don't have jobs yet, but that's just because, you know, they weren't as hungry as me, you know what I mean? I applied to multiple companies and, you know, I threw those rods out, you know what I mean? I did my research and I applied and I was willing to take any position. I was just ready to just grind my way up and earn my life as an HVAC technician. So if you have that same drive and you're willing to put in that work and that effort and be patient and learn new things, every day and become the best technician that you can be then i really believe that you guys can do it like you guys know i'm a new hvac technician but i'm willing to help the best that i can if anyone has any questions or you want to talk to me about my experience as a technician feel free to comment on this video or you can hit me up on my social media i'll drop it below and you know i hope i can inspire people to become technicians because our job is really needed out here in the There's world. There's a lot of people that are going to need your help. And, you know, it feels really good going into someone's home who their heat is broken or their air isn't working and fixing it. You know, it's it's a really good feeling that you get after. You know what I mean? And it's totally worth everything that you have to go through in order to become a technician. So feel free to hit me up if you guys have any questions about it or if you guys want to talk about any experiences or if you guys want to ask me any questions. I want to thank everybody who's been tuning into my video so far. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, or even subscribe if you want to watch more videos from your boy Young HVAC. Thank you for watching, and today has been a good day.